Yo, what's up out there, YouTubers? It's your boy Way D, aka Dream Slide. I'm here with a tutorial video about slicing beats and uh, loops in uh, Pro Tools, strictly Pro Tools and a Pro Tools expansion pack. Um, I just got that. I got it exclusively for Strike, but I'm noticing all the capabilities that it can do, and I'm noticing no one has a video about slicing beats and Pro Tools. It's always slicing beats and Pro Tools and Reason. Slicing beats using recycle and putting them in something else. So this one is all Pro Tools and a Pro Tools instrument expansion pack to help anyone that's on the fence about buying it or want to know some of the features of what it can do. Alright, without further ado, uh, let's see here. Um, you can see my main screen. Um, this is the sample I used. Um, let me just make this one waveform real quick. I'll play the sample for you guys. You know, all right. And um, this is uh, me having a cut. You don't have to have it broken up like that. I did that so I can separate the files easier when I have to grab them and drag them somewhere else. None of them are zeroed. Uh, and obviously they're broken up. Real sloppy. Nothing special. All there, all right. Okay, so first we're going to uh, mess with Transfuser. Um, Transfuser is kind of like a sequencer within a sequencer for Pro Tools has a lot of goodies in it, comes with a lot of loops, um, drum pads as you can see from one of my previous tracks, uh, bass makers, um, like synth bass sounds, um, you can even throw audio through it and use it to manipulate it kind of like you would a stump box or a normal plugin in Pro Tools depending on which way you want to go. Alright, so for the looping and slicing part, there's uh, two ways you can really do this. Um, you can actually start with the slicer. Um, and there's tons of videos about transfusers, so I'm only going to cover what I need to for this video. Alright, so, and we bring up um, my samples. Alright, so there's the slicer. You can drag the whole audio file into this slicer here. And uh, you can actually cut and slice it within this program. Pretty cool. I mean, you know, it slices easy. You can uh, play your slices. The main reason why I don't slice in Transfuser though, however, is because if we grab this and zoom in, you cannot move these these uh, slice markers. If you don't like the slice, you actually have to remove it with the eraser tool, get the pencil again, and then go back to business, which is a huge drawback in productivity and when you need to just slice quickly, especially if you can't remember where the waveform is exactly where you want to clip it. But if that's not an issue for you, uh, their slicer is pretty nice. You can sequence your slices through a, like a keyboard diagram. And um, it works out pretty cool. Um, secondly, I, I want to bring up a default drum machine. you just seen a default slicer. Uh, drum machine also has a sequencer. All of their random things here, they have their own sequencer. Uh, this drags and drop hits just like it would in Redrum or any other old school device. Um, and it also has the drum pads, you know, MPC style. Um, so you can see where they're getting the ideas. Cool thing is, when you do make a slice, you can actually drag it down into a drum machine. Bad news is, here I'll give you an example. Slice. That's my slice. Bring it up here. I want to put it here. And play it. Alright, so you can actually do the slice. Uh, what I have for bad news obviously didn't happen, so I guess when that happened to me that one time, it was a drawback. However, so you can definitely slice and then bring it into the uh, drum tool. You can even edit it further in here if the slice isn't 100% exact. So that could probably counteract that whole move in the slice in the other window thing. And if that's how you want to do the workaround for that. Um, you can mess with the release, uh, the hole, the cutoff, resonance, uh, pitch. Uh, volume level, different filters, um, you can even layer your samples which is pretty cool too. So like say I take, and it has their own little built-in drum sounds, you can also bring up your own. Alright, so now I have a kick on sample A which erase the uh, the pad we just drag and drop which is a setback. I did let uh, DigiDesign know and um, they're trying to come out probably with the next update. We'll have something that will counteract that. 
all right but you can layer it you just have to do it over on sample a and sample b and you can layer it you can program it all to your um your uh, MIDI keyboard, MPD, MPC, whatever you're using, or you drag and drop straight from the uh, edit paint plane. Go right in here, you know. All right, and uh, you can definitely do your workarounds. You have your uh, groups and everything in here too that you can uh, mess with. So um, you can layer how you want, do the effects however you want, uh, poly, mono, just like an MPC. Uh, up to four groups there. So I mean, it's pretty cool. In my opinion, Transfuser is at least worth the price of that Pro Tools Instrument Expansion Pack. Hopefully they don't quote me on that in case they do an upgrade. I really don't want to pay that much for this. This, but, you know, just giving you an idea of the value that you get with this. And I mean, like you said, you can use it just as um, you were with your MIDI controller. If you do, a part that I skipped, you want to, when you press your pads on your MIDI controller or your keys, Make sure you want it to play notes and not trigger a pattern or transpose a pattern. That way, whenever you press it on the pads, it'll play it out. Alright? Um, Alright, so that's Transfuser. Um, and I'll just delete these because they're not necessary for what I'm doing. Alright, so enough with Transfuser. Um, secondly, a lot of people don't know this, uh, but you can kind of do the same thing in Strike. Strike is your uh, roundabout virtual drummer. There's a lot of them out there. I like Strike over a lot of them. The things you can do in Strike compared to other programs is way beyond its time. So I, I'm always excited when they have new releases of Strike out there. And you know, there you go. They have a little drummer. You can up the complexity, have different feels. And it does that all in time, syncs it to your tempo or your song, turn the complexity down. Hey, look, I can play that, you know. <laughs> so there's me, then there's Super Awesome. Anyways, yeah, it does the whole drum thing. All right, man, we we seen it. All right, so another thing that you can do that people don't know is you can actually load in your own sounds in Strike in the newer version. The older version, you couldn't. So let's say I want my slide samples here. Like I said, I bought the Pro Tools Instrument Expansion Pack strictly for Strike has a lot of great effects already built into it that you can use EQs, compressors, delays, all kinds of cool stuff. But now we have replaced strike with my samples and you can tell they're off pitch because I didn't fix that. Alright, so with most drum, even when you track drums you usually want to tune them to the song. Definitely helps them sit. But uh, yeah, now they're in here. And I definitely had a couple remix ideas just sitting here messing with Strike and some of my samples and just playing one of their already preset patterns. And like I, said, I don't know anyone out there that's using Strike to randomize their patterns like that. There's also a randomizer and transfuser. I skipped over that, but there's tons of videos on that already. And you know, and even if you have to part two, you know. Does some cool stuff there. You can even edit the style and how it's hitting it with the samples. So you know, definitely some cool things you can attempt to do in uh, Strike if you have the patience. Um, all right, so that's enough with Strike. Let's put Strike away. I'll mute that for now. Um,